The school was established 1937. It was established by uh, Bethany Community of Resurrection of Christ, uh, which to that time had five sisters, or five members, let's say. Five members and a god. Very little pilgrims come our days because we are separated from Jerusalem by an eight meter high wall. And uh, Bethany turned in, uh, yeah, remained a very, uh, yeah, actually dirty little uh, Muslim village, absolutely not attractive for pilgrims. Besides, pilgrims of our days are uh, hurrying all the time. They come for a very short time of six eight, ten, maximum twelve days, putting maximum of a program and this minimum of a day. So they are rushing from one holy site to another holy site and Bethany, which is a pity, uh, stays aside from the usual pilgrim route. It is a pity because this is actually uh, the place where Christ, being son of God, found friends. And he loved Martha, Mary, brother Lazarus, but also this place. This is the place where he came, he found home, where he was always welcome. It's a pity that in, in the modern world, modern pilgrimage, Bethany is very often is excluded from visits from the pilgrims. I'm the principal administrator of the Orthodox School of Bethany. Uh, also I'm responsible for the boarding section that we have here uh, for Christian children, girls mainly, but also some boys from uh, uh, broken Christian homes. Uh, and I'm the, the, the sister in charge uh, among the four sisters that we are today. Uh, the property was bought by the Russian mission in the beginning of the 20th century First of all, just of the proximity to the Lazarus tomb. Uh, what started as a boarding school with just 10 children has today uh, 478 girls from kindergarten until grade 12. Mm, it's, the, uh, it's a private Christian school which was re-registered in 1972 because um, of the drop of Christians in the Holy Land. So from 1972 we started to uh, accept also Muslim students in our school and they make up uh, a majority our days. The school is one of the best in the surrounding. We have a waiting list uh, for newcomers to get in. Uh, we teach English from kindergarten and Russian language as a second foreign language for all girls uh, from the third grade and up. Bethany experienced quite radical change through all these years from a Christian turned into almost 99% Muslim village and uh, that's why the majority of our students come from around the school and are Muslims as well. In Bethany, we are at the moment the only Christian place exposed to the uh, Muslims. Uh, it's an open place where they come and meet Christians, not only us uh, sisters, but also our Christian teachers and our uh, Christian boarding girls. And uh, it's an opportunity to learn about Christianity. We keep the school with still all our major holidays on, on Christian fe feasts. So they get to know about our feasts, about our values, they get to know us. They uh, live very positive experience with Christians. Our value in this, in our mission work, which uh, uh, doesn't go as far as to uh, baptize the Muslims and to convert them into Christianity, which is impossible because 
uh, there is still a death penalty on uh, converting, but still um, our, our parents and our uh, graduates, they are ready even not only to support the school, but to, uh, in certain situations, to, to fight for the school. Also in the 30s, our holy site was uh, discovered uh, after the establishment of the sisterhood, after the uh, opening and functioning of, you know, the, of the clinic to have started working, and even after uh, a school was opened. So it was such a blessing afterwards. Uh, a stone was found which is dated by the archaeologists uh, end of the 5th and beginning of 6th century a stone with a Greek inscription saying here Martha and Mary for the first time heard from Lord the word about resurrection uh, all the events are very detailed described in the Gospel of St. John in the 11th chapter uh, what was discovered was the meeting place of Martha and Mary uh, where they met Christ before continuing to Lazarus' tomb, where they became witnesses of such a great miracle as the resurrection of the four days dead Lazarus. Uh, Christians already in the 5th and the 6th century made sure to, uh, uh, that such a, such a place was uh, uh, yeah, marked as a meeting place of Mark and Mary, and it remains such a meeting place till today. Here, uh, each and any of us have the right to complain to God after Mark and Mary. If you only would have been here, some things would happen, some others not. And God, um, Lord, our our Lord Jesus Christ answered two thousand years ago. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. This is the, the core thought. This is what, what you should think about. This is what should you, should you pray about. How can people help? First and foremost, of course, with, with prayers. Prayers are needed. Prayers are uh, most important for, for make us over here continue. Prayers are uh, saving us in difficult circumstances, help us survive the reality. But of course, uh, also your financial support is very important. Besides the fact that there are majority of all kinds of different projects, you can donate to projects in the school, and you can donate to projects uh, within the boarding section. You can support us with financing our children, the children in the boarding section. They come all from broken homes. They are fully in our care. We feed them, we buy the clothes, we, we organize their everyday life. They are not paying anything for the education in the school. We are taking them on trips, we are taking uh, care of them uh, medically, of their medical issues. We are in a daily survival mode. Uh, also the school, even though mo uh, most of the children, most of the students, uh, do pay school fees, whatever we are collecting as tuition from our students, is covering, in best cases, half of the school's expenses. So everything else is uh, covered only by donations. Our house here, built in 1909, is uh, very old. So, for instance, the uh, uh, next very big project is the renovation of the roof. It's in a very bad state. and. Uh, uh, it is going to need a major repair latest in the next two years. So we uh, want to start already to fundraise for this project. A huge help is the, what we are offering over and over again is for the volunteers to come. To come to volunteer both as well in the boarding section and uh, in the school. In the school we try to make English a fluent uh, speaking language 
So uh, native speakers are always very welcome. Uh, I need help in the office writing emails, writing letters, writing all kinds of documents in English language. Correction is uh, very appreciated. And of course in the boarding section uh, volunteers uh, can help in organizing the daily life for, for our boarders to help the sisters in, in the kitchen to cook, to help with the laundry, to, to keep order, to help in our uh, a huge garden, uh, being just four sisters at the moment, uh, every hand is needed. Yes, so you are more than welcome uh, to help us to put hands on in the Holy Land and uh, to uh, for sometimes so to either to strengthen your faith or uh, rediscover um, the presence and the need of it in your daily life.